as Cleveland Browns fans, you guys are the biggest crybabies I've ever seen in my fucking life. You get a new head coach, all right? And now all you're doing is crying about it. You don't even know about this guy, but you're sitting there crying about it like petulant ch childs, children. Oh, he's no good. Look what happened to him yesterday. Oh, man. You guys, this is why your organization's a fucking joke. Your fans are fucking waste. They're fucking pathetic. You guys are ready to toss the fancy out before he's ever shot to pr prove himself. And I was one of you guys. I was one of you guys. Until I did a little research and said, why don't I like Stefanski? And it dawned on me. I just don't like the looks of the guy. I'm fucked up like that in the head. I don't like the looks of somebody I don't like. And then I started doing some research on the guy. And I looked at it and I says, how the fuck? You know what I said? How in the fuck did Freddie Kitchens get hired over this guy? That's what I said. I said, how the fuck did Kitchens? I'll tell you why. Because John Dorsey's a fucking puppet. He wanted, like I've always said, John Dorsey wanted someone that he can put on strings so he wouldn't get fired like it happened in Kansas City. Consequently, got fired anyway. I looked at it and I said, how the fuck did this guy get beat up by Freddie Kitchens? This guy, we got the right guy. I'm telling you, I looked at it. Josh McDaniels, I think he could be a good coach. His problem is he wanted all the power. He wanted everything. And I'm not saying that's not necessarily what they should have done. I like Josh McDaniels. I would have hired him my own, my own personal self. I would have hired him. I didn't want this guy at all, Stefanski, but that's because I didn't like the looks of him. I didn't even know nothing about him. I didn't want Dayball either because I didn't like the looks of him. I liked the enemy. I liked Sal, and I liked Jim Shorts. Um, but I read up on this guy, and this is a very impressive coach, Cleveland Browns guy. It really is. Um, would I have still taken uh, McDaniels? I don't know. I don't know. He left the Colts at the altar. I don't know. I really don't. And I don't know. I do like this hiring, though. So, I think you people, you puppets need to give it. I think you guys need to give him a Oh, I got to get gas. I got to get gas. I think you guys need to give this guy a shot. I'm giving him a shot. You know me. I hated the guy. I, I said I didn't want nobody but this guy. But I'm giving this guy a shot. I believe in him. And as long as he get these players to buy into it and demand respect, I'm like that fat-faced fucking slump, Freddie Kitchens, we're all right. So... Everyone's talking about, well, look what the Vikings had. Look what the 49ers did to the Vikings. Well, look at the 49ers defense. It basically did it to everybody last year. You know? It is what it is. So the bottom line is this. Look, I know you're looking at my car. You fuck. I hate people that look at me. I'm mental. But I know most of them are looking at my car because it's such a beautiful car. But we got the right guy. Time will tell. But next year, if we're not in the Super Bowl or at least the AFC title game, it's a failed year. It won't necessarily tell you you got the wrong guy, but it will tell you you got the wrong fucking, it's not a good year. We need, like the Ravens this year, it's a failed year. 14-2, and two, it's a failure. They choked in the playoffs. If we're not in the AFC title game next year, it's a failure. It is, and you know it.